Hey guys, Ashen One here. New game plus. The episodics continue. Continue. Um, yeah, I've made a rod for my own back with the thumbnails. Thought color code five of them. Five episodes. Job done. We're still going. You wanted more. We're still going. So God knows what I'm going to do with the thumbnails. <laughs> cool. So we left. Great World Tendency, we came into New Game Plus with Whites and a Pure White. Only level 73, we've got some stats that we want to get rounded off and to base. We've got lots of cool gear, rings, spells. So let's get cracking. Let's just get on with it. So, same thing, starting again, fresh, but New Game Plus. So we want a great start. Um... Great start to the original new game is different to great start to new game plus. Things are going to be a bit tougher, I think. So I think what we start doing is get colorless demon souls. I'm going to get two colorless demon souls so this adjudicator shield's ready to go from plus three to plus five. Then we're going to start getting the wheels in motion for opening up our awesome soul farming spot. And that's going to require clearing world three, lowering its world tendency to... You're black. Um, freeing Yuri of the Witch. Using our maiden in black soul to get soul sucker. And we're going to do all of that, but first get the talisman of beast to its base stat requirements so we stop having to switch between it and the silver catalyst. First up, then, as you can see. Will Tendency event available to us immediately. So let's go get a Colorless Demon Soul. Let's try not to kill Moralda. If we can do this, that is not the weapon I wanted. <laughs> that was not the weapon I was looking for. Nice. Okay. What I don't want to do is I don't want Moralda to die. If she dies in her body form, regardless of whether I kill her or she dies from fall damage, He's going to lower our will tendency to neutral. So what I might do is I might keep the thief ring on. And I might try and just kite her as far away as I can from this tower. And then I'll come running back in. Ready to um, drop down and get our colorless demon soul. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be on me. How far we can sort of take her. Oh, okay. She doesn't want to go any further than this. Ooh. Hey. Ow. Oh, look at that. She's happy to run. I think it was the thief ring that put her off a bit there. There we go. I got scared then that she was going to roll, <laughs> roll off the edge. I'm just trying to get away from her as far as I can. And if I've got the thief ring on, we might de-aggro her. Because what you wanted to do is you wanted to come back in here and just stand at the top. You don't really want her following you down here. Because she will jump to her death. <laughs> um, if, she, if she dies by environmental damage, our character tendency doesn't change. But our world tendency does. And I'm not too fussed about character tendency. It's, the, it's keeping world tendencies high so we get an easier ride. Um, we don't want her spoiling it for no reason. Like, we don't need to kill her. We killed her in the first playthrough. God, right. I hate this. It's so tough. I'm going to close my eyes. I actually closed my eyes. <laughs> Why did I do that? Right, let me tell you something now. Closing your eyes is not a good strategy for any Soulsborne Akira game, okay? <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting to achieve by closing my eyes. Right, I haven't seen Moralda fall to her death. We have our Colorless Demon Soul. If we can get out of here without causing any trouble, we're good. Okay? She is going to be up here somewhere, though. Sneaky. Sneaky. I picked up the brushwood armor set there because we didn't pick it up the first time. Oh, she's perfectly back in the corner. Ooh, okay. That's a free hit. She can have that. <laughs> cool. And if we sprint fast away... Fast away? If we sprint far away enough now, 
she should stop following us because we've got old Thiefy McThief ring on. Which I can probably switch back now. Cool, okay. Um, we've still got our second chance active, even though she did give me two good old wallops. <laughs> um, but I think we're good. I think we're good. That execution Zach looks hurt. So I, I think you can see a bit now that like we are in New Game Plus. I know we don't have very high vitality, um, but we're taking damage now. So there is somewhat of a glass nature to it. Glass nature? What are we talking about today? Glass cannon nature. As you can see, our dreglings to begin with aren't much to worry about. But I'm sure our blue-eyed knights... There's plenty to be concerned about. There we go. Can jump off here for me, mate. No. It's going to be annoying. Probably following me here. Backstab me when I'm not expecting you to be there. <laughs> and I'm not even going to bother with things like um, fire bombs or anything. We don't need any of that. Because we've got Firestorm. We are going to Firestorm. Mr. Phalanx. Mrs. Phalanx. Miss Phalanx. I don't know her marital status. Phalanx is female. Longbow Ulan. Come on. This is New Game Plus. We should know this by now. Also, I'm not going to cheese Doran. His 27,000 souls would be quite, um, quite nice. But do you know what we'll do? Just to keep this playthrough a bit fresh. Let's actually do Ostrava's questline. Let's meet him and help him in each stage. World 1. Because if you do that successfully, he'll give you the key at the end in 1 4. If you don't do it successfully, he's just there as a black phantom and he doesn't give you the key. Ow. Oh, I had to. I had to pull him in to that backstab. You could see. Did you see the way he moved? <laughs> Not liking those blue-eyed knights. I should have brought the Dark Silver Shield with me. I'm running in a bit unprepared, really. I haven't got anything for um, hyper mode either, but we'll figure all that out when we get back to the Nexus. I mean, we've already got our first Colorless Demon Soul. Um, worth talking to Ostrava when you save him, because that Brass Telescope you can exchange for a Fragrant Ring in World 4 1, sparkly. But anyway. We're doing good. We've got Color Steam and Soul. Eight minutes in to recording, and we're going to run straight through now to Phalanx. Okay, so a few hits, they, the, the hits do add up. That could have gone south. Interesting situation now, because we have the pure white tendency, we're not going to um, always roll, delay your roll there. We're not going to have the dragons. That's a bit of a double-edged sword, really, because you don't have to... If you want to go and plunder all their treasure, they're not there. Um, but you don't really get their support on the bridge. Oh, good shooting, mate. Good shooting. Got to give him that. And... As we get through the new game places, you'll notice NPC uh, NPCs. You'll notice mobs not dying from the boulders. I think one survives, doesn't he? Yeah, there he is. Look. Oh. Cheek. The cheek of it. So, we go. We get Phalanx, yeah? We're going to pick up some Archstone Shards first. And some heals from our dragons. Um, we kill Phalanx. Then I think we go to World 2. Now, World 2 is tough as hell. Flame, Flame Lurker, you don't want to mess with him. The dogs, the fat officials, everything, it's just tough. But we need to give Ed the Searing Demon Soul again from the Flame Lurker if we want to be able to upgrade our unique weapons. Now, I did originally think that you only needed Ed to create boss souls. Well, you only needed to give Ed the Searing Demon Soul to create boss weapons, is what I'm trying to say. 
But it turns out you actually have to give him the Searing Demon Sword just to upgrade unique weapons as well. So that's why I think if we go to World 2 and we take down Armored Spider and Flame Lurk, we can run back to Ed. And at least then we can get this Adjudicator Shield at plus 5. And then we're cooking on gas then. We've got some serious HP regeneration. Yeah, this is going to be interesting without the dragon's health. Where's my Charizard? Oh, that was that was liquid. I'm sorry, guys. That was liquid dodging and slashing. Given them giving them the runaround on the fire bombs, and then just slap, slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so cocky right now, and I shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. I need to rein it in a bit, guys, just because. New Game Plus is merciless. Like, it's, it, there's no forgiving. Like, none of it. And it's not so much like fighting a boss. It's more just getting ambushed and get and three, three mobs hitting you once each, and that's it, you know? One day, I will, one day, I will time the roll right. He will throw his spear, or it will throw its spear. And I will roll perfectly past and then kill it. And I'll look like an awesome Soulspawn player. One day, maybe. Oh, I'll take that though. That'll do for now. Right, so. Um, let's have a little look see. Let's see what we can do against Phalanx. I've got my. I've got my second chance ready. Let's just see what Firestorm does. Nothing if you can't cast it. Okay, we've got a one shot. Happy with that. Not quite the flawless victory, but it's cool. Okay. We're in business. Let's get the monumental spoken to. Uh, Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. We'll get that as well. We'll start collecting those. We have the ability to actually... Well, yeah. More so. We, like, we can finish this playthrough with a plus five crisp blade, a plus five adjudicator shield, and a plus five dark silver shield. Pretty EQ. But I think... Ooh, I, what we'll do now... We won't just go bombing it to World 2 like a bunch of crazy cats. What we'll do, we'll go to World 4 first. Let's get, let's get the drop on World 4. Let's run up to Sparkly, get our Colorless Demon Soul. Basically, you pick up the Talisman of God at the beginning of World 4. Take it up to Sparkly, get our Colorless Demon Soul. Then we'll... Um, And then, because we've sort of run all that way and we've killed a few skellies, we'll just quickly, instead of like Archstone sharding out or running back to the Archstone to warp out, we'll just quickly kill the Adjudicator. <laughs> we're just like, because we're in the area, we may as well pop in. I was in the neighborhood, I've just popped in, kill the Adjudicator. <laughs> um, we'll do that. And we'll get patches back of the Nexus really quickly if we can, okay? So we'll um, we'll get him back here so we can start purchasing heals and archstone shards off him. Then we can start getting our... Um... How do I not have enough to level up? You having a laugh? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I want to see at least 17 on faith. We've got to, we've got to get faith to... 18, right? So we can just use the uh, Talisman of Beasts without having to worry. Okay, first color of Steam is all in the bag. Let's quickly get a second one, kill Adjudicator, then we'll go, go to World 2. We'll kill Armored Spider, we'll kill Flame Lurker, we'll give Ed the Flame Lurker's soul, we'll upgrade our Adjudicator shield with our two colors of Steam and Souls to plus five. Plan? Plan. Oh, okay. I need to be careful. I need to be careful here. This ends good. I, have, I haven't cast um, second chance. 
Right. Is he going to be able to snipe me? He is. I think he is. Yeah, that's annoying. He's got hella range, that guy. You've got to remember to cast second chance, guys. <laughs> remember to cast second chance. After this run, we'll be able to get that level 18 in faith. And we, we just won't have to worry about the silver catalyst anymore. Come on, then. Let's go. Okay. So if I'm controlling the skellies and not panicking too much, they're pretty easy. And we, you know, we're still using our present falchion and what we are going to be doing so i know some of you've mentioned it you want to see that blue blood sword in action so once the talisman of beast has its 35 intelligence sorry it's 35 magic i, I can't remember if it's 35 intelligence 35 magic 35 faith i think it might just be um 35 magic 35 faith but we don't have to worry too much about that because our magic is already at 40 when you get a base of Magic 35 and Faith 35, I believe, um, Talisman of Beasts outclasses Insanity Catalyst. So then you've got an awesome spell casting weapon, but you're casting Miracles as well. And there's no, no 50% reduction to your MP. No, thank you. I don't know if any of you guys were actually checking the camera then or what I was doing. I was just hitting R1, <laughs> hoping for the best. Again, another strategy that I do not advise. Right then, let's get Sparkly done and dusted. Oh, ooh. Um, interesting. Wasn't meant to do that. Bear with me, guys gonna add a few seconds on to our timer just gonna run back up i'm sure i could just quit out now and run back up and the item would be there but i i don't think there's any reason to risk that right <laughs> here we go apologies but we were we were jumping down there anyway and we needed that um we needed that stone of ephemeral eyes so we're, we're picking them up as we go along. Sparkly, happy, happy. Sparkly, color steam and soul. There you go, we've got two now. Lovely stuff. Minor glitch there when I fell off backwards. <laughs> Sparkly's still talking to me. Very sociable bird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fail. Oh, no, not again. Right, guys, get counting. Get counting. Okay, you ready? Oh, my God. That's three. That's three fails. Okay, hold on. This is muscle memory. So let me just run back out. See how the mind works. I, I honestly would... I wouldn't have got that role if I had just stayed there trying to do it. I had to sort of reset my mind to how I've been doing it the last 50 times, which has been first time. The way this game gets us psychologically, eh? Oh! Ooh, very lucky. Oh, have you guys noticed that my second chance is gone? That's interesting. Second chance is gone. Okay. When did that happen? We don't need Grave, grave rob, rob Oblige or anything like that, really. No. Okay, let's just see how easily we wreck um, Adjudicator. I'm not going to use Firestorm or anything. I'm just going to go with my, my trusty weapon. And I'm also going to try and be a bit conservative about stamina so that when he falls down I start with full stamina bar because that way look we need to, we need to be getting him past 50% okay we I think we can just about do it in two if I'm clever with my stamina 
That means having as much stamina as possible when he falls down. Start hitting him immediately. So I'm not waiting for the stamina bar to go back up. There you go. That should be fine. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We were in the neighborhood. We may as well kill the boss. So as you can see, with some of the bosses, nothing's changed. There's... Exact, obviously exactly the same tactics, but you, we're also getting a bit of, um, you know, we're feeling that extra health that they have, but it's still pretty straightforward. Um, okay, so we've got pure white world tendency now, straight away with world four. And what I just want to do quickly, after I've cast second chance, because I'm forgetting to do it again, I'm just going to quickly get patches in the nexus. That's all I want. I want him back. Back in the Nexus. Hopefully this is the last time that we're going to be switching in and out of Silver Catalyst and the Beast. Won't even bother putting the Silver Catalyst back on. So only real things to be concerned of here is this New Game Plus Black Phantom. You know, he's, he's the same old boy, but he's a lot stronger. But well, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick look. Pick this up. Hold on a second. I'm doing all this completely wrong. We do not need these items. Chat to Urbane Boy. That's it. And let's get this dude. We're, we're only really here for patches, but um, we will be learning some new miracles, I imagine, in this playthrough, because once our Talisman of Beasts is powered up, we've got miracles and spells being cast. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to have, you know, 35 points in fate. It's enough, you know. <laughs> it's enough to be casting some pretty cool stuff. Wow, he hit me pretty horribly then. It's actually, that's actually scared me. The same tactic, but you can see, you know, our current armor situation. We don't need the Magic Sword Makoto, but just to show that we're in, um... A white Wall Tendency, there it is. Um... I might as well pick it up then and get it sent to the box, just just in case, you know, somebody wants one or needs one. Not that it's hard to item dupe in this game. Right, so we're, we're really here just for patches for now, and having Sane to a Bane back is just going to save us time later on. Hey. Now what we'll do quickly is we'll just run to the top of these stairs and get the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. And then we'll arch stone shard out. Not gonna have to, you know, it's costing a lot to level up in New Game Plus, but like, not gonna have to worry too much about our souls. Remember, watch the trap there. Big old trap. I do not want to drop those. Anything else we could be doing here? Maybe, but I think we get out now. Get get out while we're good. Get out on top. Right. So, patches is now here. Where's my lady in black? There she is. Okay. I think I'm going to tick over some points in... in mm. ah, we're right for intelligence. Keep faith going. Right. Um, Tasman the Beast now doesn't have the warning sign on it anymore, so it should be playing ball a bit better. If I use some of this, I want those. I'm going to be a lot more conservative and clever with my boss souls in this playthrough. Patches is now here. So we can keep ourselves archstone sharded. Nice, and he's got good heals for us. Okay. Do I need anything hyper mode wise for World 2? No. Okay. Fine with what I've got. I'm sure things like Northern Regalia don't need to be... Yeah, the blue blood sword doesn't need to be here at the moment, so we may as well clear up some of that carry. Okay, so get blacksmith Ed's shortcut open. Okay, kill armored spider. We'll do. We'll use the lava skip. Kill flame lurker, and then use these two colorless demon souls back with Ed to level up our our weapon. Uh, sorry, our shield. To plus five. We're 24 minutes in, so let's just see how we get on with all of that. It, this world's tough. It's it's really tough. Um, the dogs 
Oh, the dogs. I'm gonna get this elevator working for now. What we might what we might do is we might um We might be lowering world tendency on this world later on. Um and we'll do what we did in the first playthrough so we can just come back and pick up the stone of the femoralize as we need it. But what we've got to be really careful of here is obviously the dogs and the fire. So let's just clear the area a bit. Don't need any unnecessary issues with enemies. Right, here we go. This is it now. Oh, he hit the wall. Oh, I've never seen that before. Ha, the fat official hit the wall, not the not the pots. Ah, whoa. Oh, that was liquid. That was liquid combat. Did you see that? Perfectly timed rolls. I'll die now, though. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. Always just roll to the left before him. Oh, if you roll a bit too fast, sometimes he'll come down, so just be careful. Um, we need to watch the dude here. But I, the reason I'm clearing the corridor is because we're coming back up here. You know, you gotta remember, we've got to get that shortcut open, then we've got to come back up. Um, so you, you don't really want to get surprised by any of those guys in the corridor. It's not great. Like, you saw how much damage they were doing to me, just hitting me in the face. Imagine if they hit you when from behind or when you're rolling that extra sort of poise damage it's not good right so we're on our way we are on our way 16 okay, okay so that's five let's have a little look 27 minutes of recording oh, oh blue stuff hmm Okay, so, all good, all good in the hood. We, we we don't use Water Veil for the Lava Skip anymore because Second Chance is buffed and again, it's that thing of me finding it out more in depth um, in one of the previous episodes. You know, once you've done, once you've created a, have an active buff on your character, like to do with your character's circumstance, you can't then add another one. So things like, you know, Soul Thirst and Second Chance wouldn't work together. Water Veil and Second Chance don't work together. Once, you, once you're altering something about yourself. So I'm going to put the Flame Resistance Ring on and we're going to hope to hell this works. Oh, Second Chance popped. You, you can do it smoother than that, but Second Chance popped. That was scary. You know, I might actually keep the Flame Resistance Ring on. We're going to be... We're most likely going to be taking some fireballs in the face from the Armored Spider. Flame Lurk is just going to be flaming all over the place. <laughs> so I'll let my MP slowly tick over. Whilst we take this guy down. Ooh, two shale, boy. That was close. I think it's necessary to fight that guy, you know. I think um, I think you could just run through, but I like to pick up the stone of ephemeral eyes, so you don't, you don't want him sort of behind you with an ignite or a fireball ready. <laughs> These flame toss they do. It doesn't look like fireball. It's not, it's not as fat to be fly, uh, fireball. Well played, my friend. Well played. You got me. Okay, so um, we'll keep the flame resistance ring on. And... Interesting thing about the old armored spider, very weak to firestorm. I don't know why. I just assumed that he would, it wouldn't be. You know, like I would, I would have just assumed that it's an armored spider that shoots fire. It's probably pretty strong against fire, but you can pretty much one shot it with firestorm. <laughs> um, famous last words. It'll, it'll probably, probably kill me now and embarrass me. Let's let's have a little look. Handy to put Firestorm in the slot so you don't end up casting something like, um, or try and cast Second Chance, which isn't going to work, you know? Let's get him to slam down. 
See if we can get him to slam down. That's when we've got a bit of time when he slams. There you go, look. Let's not get too cocky, though. We've got Flame Lurker. Thinking <clears throat> I'll just run straight to Flame Lurker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Ring of Magical Sharpness, Soul Arrow. Um, I've got some ideas. And I think what I might try and do is, is concentrate on staying away from Flame Lurker and just having those small little pockets of opportunity to um, Soul Ray him. I think that's what I'll do. See how hard they hit? This must be pure white wool tendency now, right? Not to be underestimated, the old boys in the tunnel. Not to be underestimated. Uh-oh. Oh. If you do take damage in there, remember, before you come rolling down here like a crazy fool, heal up, because the fall damage will kill you. Or it has a chance to kill you, basically. Um, what happened was I got really um, sort of confident um, rolling down here. Once I'd learned exactly how to do it, I was like, yeah, and I got to like here and I just died. I was like, what? And it's because I wasn't checking my health. My health was quite low before I started throwing myself off the ledges. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, please, outside boss room. Okay. This is going to be tough. I'm going to keep that on. Ring of Magical Sharpness is going in. Flame Resistance Ring is on. Soul Ray. Let's get rid of all this, look. So we've got an easier loadout. Didn't really need to use that, but it's all right. It's okay. Um... Gonna keep adjudicate shield's not gonna do much, but I'm just thinking about my health regening. So my advice here would be not to just go crazy trying to snipe him. Let him do the pound attack lock on and then pop one off at him. When he starts jumping, go for him. But not like that. See, I was being greedy. Being greedy in this fight for a ranged battle with him, you think is safe, it's not. You're gonna get locked into that um casting animation, you see. He decides, oh, okay, cool. If you're, if you're just stood there, I'm going to come and pound you. You're in big trouble then. Just try and get one off on him like that, and then just get out. When you see him jump a few times, you can. You, it's usually safe to, to try and pop a few at him. But always remember balancing attacking him and getting the MP back up. Like he should, should start jumping for us now. And this is the only time I really go in for lock-on fights against him. You'll notice the last few times I've fought him, I don't lock on. Um, but this just keeps it a bit easier. That was a poorly timed hit, um, MP heal there, I'll, I'll admit that. Not as poorly timed as that one. Oh my god. Oh, we're dead. I'm so dead. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I've got this. I've got this. Come on, I've got this. Show me what you got, big boy. Okay. That was tough. That was tough. But you had me on the back foot. Second chance never popped, but... That can go south very quickly. Very quickly. Right. Oh. 128,000 souls, I'll take that. Um, okay, so what we want to do now is just quickly go to Ed. Right? Get our plus 5 adjudicate shield, which is going to just a great start now, okay? We've got really good um, health regen. You know. Plus 5 and the ring's really good. I didn't open the shortcuts. <laughs> I 
didn't open the shortcut. I thought I got through that, like, really quick. Um, I'm just trying to think. Is it faster to go from Armored Spider? Is it easier? I don't know. Yes. I thought I thought we got to the boss really quickly. We didn't open the shortcut, did we? <laughs> well, hey, we can relax a bit. Um, you know, get these dogs out of the way. We should be able to run through pretty easily. Let me just get second chance, because famous last words. Terrible place to pop second chance, by the way. <laughs> I thought I opened the shortcut. I must have been just daydreaming about it. Not going to be afraid to use my heels either. Quite happily use all of those. One thing you'll notice with these pickaxe guys as well is that um, like they're sort of mid swing. I think I've said this before. Like a lot of enemies, they're they're mid attack. You're not stunning them. They're going to follow that attack through. Um. Stunlock is usually when you get the drop on enemies. Okay, so I guess, if you think about it, this is very inefficient. Like, you can run straight to Armored Spider like I did, but definitely do not do that. Um, just spend the extra 30 seconds or so running up here and just getting the... Um, getting the shortcut open. <laughs> so I love doing that. It's, there are some places in the game where you just know you're getting a double, a double donger. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my time with these guys. I think I've wasted enough time by not opening a shortcut. How are we looking? 36 minutes in. Okay, cool. Not the end of the world. Okay, next up then is just getting through bits of world three. We've got our plus five adjudicator shield now, which is awesome. Um. And what we want to do now is um, we want to go to the Prison of Hope. You know, if we're going for the Blue Blood Sword as kind of like the end game, um, then what we need to do is we need to, you know, something like Light Weapon is going to be really cool. So we're going to have to talk to him a few times. Almost there. Come on, Eddie boy. This is such a staple of From Software games as well. Like, you think the exhausting NPC and vendor dialogue is like such a thing. It's such a staple. Judicate shield plus five. Lovely stuff, guys. Okay. Not bad, eh? 37 minutes into recording and we're away to level up and then world three. Sage Freak. Fool's Idol. Finish it up, Alatria. And what we'll do is I'll pick up what we need for hyper mode. I'll pick up my Makoto and my Morian Blade before we go into World 3. And that way we can have a faster boss fight. I was just going to run in and, and fight her normally. But I'm just thinking... Um, probably just get the drop on her as much as we can at the beginning. It might be enough to kill her, I don't know. Okay, 133,000 souls. I'm feeling good. It's it's tough putting points in faith. I'll admit that, okay? It is it is tough putting the points in faith just because of how much it's not. Like, if you imagine if we were putting points in vitality and endurance now, that'd be really awesome. <laughs> that we, we'd be seeing the effect. So we're not going to be seeing much with... It, it should be boosting the Talisman of Beasts a bit. Um, 145, 57 plus 1, 148, 53. So it, it's it's all right. Like, you know, it's decent, but just, it, it we'll benefit from it later on. Um, okay, so let me just... Let me just get the old Morion Blade and my Makoto. Thank you very much, friend. I'm sure I've got the clever rat's ring still on me. Yeah. Okay, world three. Let's do it. Ooh, do I need archstone shards or anything like that? I've got two archstone shards and I've got 20 heals. Ooh, spices. Six spices. That's low, I'd say, wouldn't you? Buy like 10 of those. May as well round it up to 20, right? 
Prison of Hope. Okay, so floor four key. Go up, go down. Hopefully roll the bridge with success. <laughs> Definitely gonna die. We'll get Sage Breaks key. We'll kill the Black Phantom. We'll um, go into hyper mode. Um, this, these guys drop spices, so I'm going to take advantage of that. We'll go into hyper mode, and then um, we'll see if we can make quick work of Fool's Idol. And then what that means is for the next episode, episode 2, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clearing out the rest of World 3, right? And then we're going to have access to our soul farming spot. So then we need to go and get Yuria. So we'll go back to World 1. We'll free Yuria the Witch. She'll give us soul first. Sorry, soul suck. We've already got soul first. And then we have everything we need, hopefully. Hopefully enough MP as well. To... Um... Do our little farming thing. So from the uh, the old monk's archstone, we pop soul thirst. We run out, which where that black phantom is at the top of the stairs. We soul suck the black the black phantom, and whilst whilst the souls are tallying up, we run straight back to the um, archstone, rinse and repeat. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. We need some serious leveling, right? You know, if we want, if we first want an awesome talisman of beasts, and we also want to start getting even close to the spread that we need for blue blood sword, and then 99, 99 luck, a lot of soul farming needs to be done. So what I'll probably do, there will be a let's play where I'm soul farming. But I'll speed it up. So I know these are these are sort of largely unedited, but I think there'll be a point where I'll be able to sort of put a put a graphic on the screen just to say, um, oh, I'm dead. First death. I thought I had second chance. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. There it is, guys. The first death. I thought I had second chance on, though. What happened there? I didn't get the key for floor four either, did I? No, sorry, we're on floor four. Yeah, no, no, don't. Okay, so that's fine. Guys, I feel like we should... We should we toast the occasion? <laughs> um, it's me not concentrating. So there you go, guys. I am human. Um, I'm not sure what's happening there. I don't know why I didn't have second chance. Or did I just forget to, to cast it? I didn't feel like anything had attacked me. Interesting. Interesting. Good to know as well that those guys, you know, with our vitality, those guys are going to get us with, um, with their mind flaying. With their soul sucking of us. No harm done, guys. No harm done. All we've really done is waste a stone of ephemeral ice. That's all it is. Nothing more to it. Wow, okay. Starting to get our first bit of resistance there. But not to worry. Not to worry, eh? Okay, so... We're still on, we're still on track. Um, Fool's Idol will counter the world tendency we, we lose for dying in body form if we don't die in body form again. So, not the end of the world. Pretty good. Oh, wow! The coffin was in his way, so we had to blast it. This is an angry mind flayer, guys. Definitely taking these guys a lot more serious now. So it was the Mind Flayer that killed me. We need to remember that. So I was thinking of doing a video, just my top, I don't know if people would be interested, my top 10 worst enemies. But it, it's a strange one to try and label, because I, when I say worst enemies, I don't necessarily mean like... Um... Ooh, weapons damaged. Interesting. I do believe I've got a Sharpening Stone, haven't I? 
Oh, that was that was lucky. <laughs> um, when I say like top ten worst enemies, like I kind of mean my sort of favourite ones, like you know, mind players, giant depraved. Like they're, they're sort of the worst ones, the ones that get you. Um, but I kind of love them for that as well at the same time. <laughs> okay, so Sage breaks there. I'm going to leave the item there so I've got a kind of reference to know which stairwell he's in because I always forget. Um, I use that. I think it's aged or fresh spice that's on that corpse. So I use that as my like it's like a breadcrumb to know that that's where Sage Frake is. Okay, um, we got all our souls back. Okay, we're going down to the fog gate. Down and down and down and down and down. Right, prisoner horde. You need to be careful. So first challenge is prisoner horde. Second challenge, challenge is rolling that bloody bridge. <laughs> oh, he's going for magic. All right, let's keep a, keep an eye on him then. Yeah, magic again. Look. <laughs> oh, he's a boy. <laughs> okay, so. Well, bear with me. I just need to concentrate on this. Okay, we can afford mistakes. Not that many. Okay, right. So I thought that would wreck me way more. I'm genuinely quite happy about that. That's quite that's quite pleasant. We'll, we'll clear up the items on the bridge when we run back through to get Sage Freak. Um, okay, so we need Sage Freak's key. We need to kill the healer. We need to kill the Black Phantom. Then we want to go into hyper mode, yes? Yes. Okay, so what I might do is I might just take... I didn't bring another shield, did I? Okay, I'm playing a dangerous game here. Mm. It's okay. There is method to my madness, I promise. What I don't want is to heal. This is where things get risky, right? I want to get into hyper mode faster. <laughs> so what I don't want to, to be happening is the adjudicator shield to be... Um, buffing me, uh, regening my health with the ring. Generate his ring. Don't want to risk taking too many hits off the Black Phantom either. We'll take a little bit of fall damage. That's okay. Take a little bit of fall damage. That's okay. Um, just need to be careful because she can, she can turn things around pretty quickly. She can really get us into a spot of bother. May as well pick up the Lotus. <laughs> um, she, she's she got some plague handy. Oh my god. Okay. Not good. Not good at all. Don't lose sight of her. That's the last thing you want to be doing. And you do not want to get hit by that crossbow either. Back on the controller just to get the little jump back. Go in for the R1 afterwards. Attack, jump back, attack, attack. Perfect. I think that is really close to what we need for hyper mode. Now, obviously, like I say, we have the magic sword Makoto, but because I've wasted a bit of time dying <laughs> um, and forgetting to open the shortcut, I think... Um, just need to see that rat, rat icon, basically. The clever rat's ring should give us. There it is. Okay. Right, so let's make sure we do this properly now. I'm going to pop the Morion blade on the back there. I'm going to pop that in as well. That's going. I'm going to put my Talisman of Beasts back on. 
going to two-hand the weapon. The ring is there. I'm going to put on the Eternal Warrior's ring. No. I'm not going to put on... Yes, I am. And if we don't kill her, I'm going to quickly switch things up. I'm going to heal up, put my rings on if I find a safe spot, and maybe even put the, the, the Dull Rat's ring on. No, sorry, not the Dull Rat's ring. The, um, the Ring of Magical Dullness is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we got Hyper Mode. I'm hoping for just a clean kill like we did in the other episode. 50 minutes. 50 minutes into recording. Let's see if we can do this. New Game Plus, I, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I do not know. Oh, yeah, that should be enough. Quick, 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 quick. Boom. Okay. So I'm not going to let the, the gargoyles take me. Okay. I'm not going to let the gargoyles take me. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and get Sage Freak, and I'm going to Archstone Shard out. I think this is Age Spice, isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm just thinking we're in World 3. We don't really necessarily want to go back to the Nexus now and then have to run Sage Freak with all of the enemies respawned. Um, we may as well... We may as well... Um, just to have a, 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 you know, I don't know if there's a lot of distance in it, but we, we've got a nice clean run back through here where we can pick up some souls and Son of Ephemeral Eyes and we can relax a little bit. And just Archstone Shard out, I think. Upper Lat as soon as the boss is dead, Upper, upper Latria is available to us um, to warp to. So we're all good in that respect. I suppose the only thing is the Prisoner Horde. The Prisoner Horde could cause us some trouble. If we underestimate it, which I have a terrible habit of doing. Have a little look here. Hits hard. Oh, wrong spell. Come on. What am I playing at? <laughs> Yeah, it's tough to get all the streams to hit him because you don't want to get be too close, but it feels good. It feels good taking him down. Right, uh, Sage Frake. So all we've got to do now is run back up the stairs across the landing, as I call it, and up some stairs, and then we've got Sage Freaky Boy. I'm just thinking there's going to be spells from him and Yuria, things like Light Weapon, First Weapon from Yuria. There's, there's going to be stuff that we're probably going to be needing. Age Spice. And a free vendor. Hey mate, I can get you out if you let me uh if you let me let me click on the gate. There we go. Good old boy. Oh, there you go, look. Right, so Arch some shout out. Wow, I can't believe that mind player killed me. That would have been a perfect run, right? <laughs> okay, so 53 minutes. We still we've still got time. So why don't we say Lovely Maiden in Black Got like 90,000 souls Ugh, Just do it Aid Orp Fodder Thank you for being my latest subscriber Orp Fodder, that seems like a Counter-Strike reference um, Cool, okay, so We need 11 more we need 11 more levels in faith, which is a bit heartbreaking, but <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, and that Talisman of the Beast is going to be booming. Booming. Okay. Um, right. So, all that's really left to, to do, so let me just check some things. So, World Tendency is absolutely fine. If you look at the Archon of the Tower Queen, it's gone into that weird pure white state, which isn't actually 100% pure white, but it pretty much is. Um, so, we're pretty good. I mean, the only world we haven't been to is Archon of the Chieftain, and that's at white. So, already we're, boom, straight into the pure white World Tendency. So, that's really cool. We're only level 81. We're on our way to getting Faith, uh, Faith? Faith to 35. Um... Doing pretty good here in heals. 
Souls are all good. Yeah, we're being more conservative with the souls. And we've got one boss down. We've got two bosses down here. One boss down over there. A boss down here. An old patchy boy is here ready and waiting for us. If we need heals, we need our arch stones. We've got him. And he'll have his three stones of ephemeral eyes as well, which is great. We've got ten of those on us. I have died. But it's not a problem, guys. It's not a problem. We're, we're going to be fine. I think we're in a good position. So, episode two. We clear world three. We run to man eaters. We're going to nuke them with Firestorm. No shame. Run up to the old monk. I will, I'll will. i put it online mode if you want. Um, just because I, we didn't get to have a PvP fight last time. It might be quite fun. Um, and then, once the old monk is dead, we're coming straight to world one. We're killing the Tower Knight. We're freeing Yuria the Witch. And then we're getting Soul Sucker from her. Then we're going to start having a look at our Soul Farming. And that's where I might actually edit one of the playthroughs. Where I'll, I might actually do like half an hour to 45 minutes of Soul Farming. But I'll just speed it up in an edit. Um, and I should be able to prompt you with a little graphic, like I said, um, on the screen. To tell you that you can skip to a, a timestamp. <laughs> so you're not sitting through an hour of me um, Soul Farming. I mean, you can watch it a couple of times. I'll do a couple of runs so you can see what the soul farm is. And then, boom, we'll just speed it up. But um, what's cool is Fischl's cap, Fischl's clothes, Fischl's gloves are in here somewhere, and Fischl's leggings. We don't have to do the, the official farming anymore. Also, we don't have to kill an archdemon to... Um, we don't have to kill an archdemon to uh, get past the Tower Knight's fog gate. The Nexial Binding that you get in the first playthrough carries through to your subsequent New Game Pluses. So there you go, guys. I'm waffling on now, so I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you for watching. Ne next episode should be soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.